What is the most beautiful language in the world? Many of you will say like French or Italian or Spanish are the most beautiful language in the world because it sounds beautiful. But I'm going to argue something different. I'm going to say that Chinese is the most beautiful language in the world. And the reason is because of how beautiful the characters are. I've been studying characters for a long time and Chinese and it's just amazing how beautiful they are. So this is a different perspective and I hope it can give you some ideas. So I'm going to introduce a few characters that I think are beautiful and the concepts behind them. So one of them is the Chinese word hao, uh, which is good. And it's also used in hello, like ni hao, which basically means you good, which is like hello, I hope you're good, literally. So this meaning of this character on the left, it has the character for the woman. So Chinese is made up of radicals. There are uh, lots of different radicals. They're like building blocks of the characters. On the left, you can see the woman, which is like a kneeling down woman. On the right is the character of a child. So you put these two together and it means good. So the idea is that the mother and child together is good. Kind of like the concept of a family. And this is quite a beautiful kind of meaning. So another character I introduce is Nan, the character for man. Here you can see how it's made as a field and a plow underneath it. And together this is the character for man, which is like the person who plows a field. And this is like a beautiful, interesting idea. Like these concepts, this is just two basic examples in all of Chinese language. And it's just filled with so much richness of meaning and history and concepts and put into these symbols that are just amazingly fascinating and beautiful in a way that in English, we don't have that because we just use the letters. So we just, we don't have the richness of concepts. It's definitely something amazing about having the concepts in the words. Those were two simple characters. I'm going to introduce like the most complicated character and that is Biang, Biang Biang Noodles. And this character is like the most complicated character. The story of where it came up is, actually it was just invented by someone in a noodle shop to, as a marketing tactic to sell the noodles. And this is like made of so many different concepts inside it. You can basically see all the, all the building blocks, like you can see like the horse, and then long chang, so like long noodles maybe, and then moon on the left and heart and knife. So then there's like the cave and walk. So maybe all of these concepts go into noodles or maybe this is just someone just creating a complicated character to try and attract attention. Yeah, interesting. So a lot of the people in history in China like will just create their own characters just for fun, just putting these concepts together. Could we do that now? Maybe we can just create our own characters for fun or for marketing or we can create new ideas in languages. Yeah, so these are some ideas about what makes Chinese characters beautiful. Actually, I also think that Chinese sounds beautiful as well. Many people may not think it sounds beautiful because it has many sounds that sound very similar, but actually it's very musical because it's a tonal language. It does sound very beautiful in some ways, not in the same way that you would say that Italian or French would sound beautiful. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. Do you think that Chinese is beautiful? Do you think it's uh, interesting or what do you think? What do you think is the most beautiful language? I'm interested to hear your thoughts.